So we got Lam Paro. We got Subriel Matias. We got ourselves a fight, bruh, for the IBF Championship goal, stating that Subriel Matias is set to defend his IBF Super Lightweight title against undefeated Lam Paro in June or July in Puerto Rico, live on The Zone. It says IBF Super Lightweight Champion. Subriel Matias has also revealed, right, he has left Al Heyman's premier boxing champions pbc and is said to sign a promotional deal with eddie hearn matchroom boxing to fight live on the zone and here is the receipts of super uh, matias taking the initiative um signing with the likes of eddie hearn bro which shout out to eddie hearn bro because to me but just my opinion um he's given these guys who have uh, recently signed with him he's giving them the ticket to go back home and have that home cooking and that 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 home field advantage kind of fight uh, you think about regis progress um his first fight on the zone he went back to new orleans and had a fight with uh, uh, uh dan lito zarilla you had Devin haney uh, uh re-signed with matchroom boxing and he goes uh to have a fight in san francisco and uh, now you having um, the likes of Subrio Matias going back home to Puerto Rico to have a fight at his home turf, bro. So this is kind of cool, bro. Uh, saying that to say, man, he just doing it big, in my opinion, by signing some of the best talent in the sport of boxing that most people overlook, right? He's signing good people that people overlooking. Because like, here's the thing. I don't see why nobody didn't go out to Jao Patel prior to Eddie Hearn. Right, re-signing Devin Haney was crazy because I thought Devin Haney was gonna go the PBC route. That was crazy. Getting Regis progress in a, in a spot where maybe he was in the development stage of his career, kind of the rebuilding stage. But bruh, I mean, landing that Devin Haney fight was was technically possibly one of the biggest sales pitches in the entirety of 2023. Getting Subrio Matias, I'm still calling it Subrio Matias, no Mas Matias, by the way, because brother man has uh five stoppages right by people retiring on the stool saying i don't want to fight no more right and that just gets overlooked <laughs> it just it is what it is not to mention the dude <clears throat> excuse me it's 20 wins 20 knockouts with one loss on his resume so that's even crazy because technically in fights where he win it's pretty much 100 percent guarantee he gonna knock that person out right um he ain't gonna just win he gonna win in tremendous fashion Right, so um, getting Subrio Matias is crazy in itself. Um, so yeah, man, the zone be going for the gusto when it comes to getting some of this talent. Now, we do have uh, Lam Paro, who was coming off possibly one of the most impressive uh victories of his career. And I was I was told, right, um, that he was supposed to fight um, Regis Progress, uh, for Progress's New Orleans tour. Right when Progress went home to New Orleans, he was supposed to fight Lamparo, right? But something happened in a scenario where we couldn't see Lamparo step into the ring with the likes of Regis Progress. So we had to kind of hold off and see what his skills really looked like, you know, what really looked like, um, until he was able to get on another stage or a bigger stage, which he was able to do versus Montana Love. Now the last time we seen Montana Love, he was in the scenario with Steve Sparks where things got out of hand and. Uh, yeah, in so many words, bruh, um, they had to stop the fight. They got very um, aggressive in there. People flew out the ring. You had scenarios where they was fighting dirty with each other. He and Steve Sparks. Um, a lot of headbutting going on. It was a lot, bruh. So if you ain't seen Montana Love versus Steve Sparks, then go check it out. But this was the fight prior to Lamparo and Montana Love, right? Montana Love lead with a big old gash cut on, uh, on his eye. The whole nine, right? It was just one of those kind of fights and one of those kind of nights. So that to say, it's not the proper outing for Montana Love uh, to step into the ring with Lamparo. Although he was taking on um, an undefeated fighter where he could have really got his name back into the hat. As far as being one of the best guys in the sport of boxing. D, uh, derailed by Lamparo in a knockout fashion. Alright, so this is not a fluke scenario here when I say... I see this fight between Subrio Matias and Lamparo 
ending in a knockout, bro. This is not a fluke that I'm saying this because here's the thing. I do think that uh, Lam Paro has made it to a position in his career where, bro, I ain't really trying to lose right now. Like, you see what I'm saying? Like, I mean, I'm, 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 I'm undefeated. I'm coming off a great win. This is an opportunity for me to get championship gold. This ain't an opportunity for me to lose, right? This is an opportunity for me to get championship gold. You've lost before. So, um, if Lam Paro is willing to bear all, on the night, right? Just bear all, go for the gusto, try to get the knockout. Cause he, he I, this is what I'm thinking, right? He's gonna have to knock out Subio Matias. Cause Matias is at a position right now, especially with signing with Matchroom and the Zone, right? He's in a position right now where it's only big fights from here, right? This ain't even a small fight if you really want to think about it, right? What was PBC gonna offer him? Because this ain't a small fight. Um, Super Real Matias versus Lam Paro. This is not a small fight. This is going to get Super Real Matias on the international stage, right? From this, right, you might get pro grades, right? I, I could be wrong about this. You might get pro grades or uh, Ryan Garcia or Devin Haney, right? The sky's the limit. He got to get past Lam Paro, but the sky's the limit for whoever wins this particular fight. When you put that kind of stipulation on both of these guys, right? Because you still have to think about Lamparo. He can go into the Devin Haney stage, the Ryan Garcia stage, even the Roddy Romero stage, right? But that's PBC. We think about Roly. But uh, he, he could be going into the same scenario too, right? Uh, Ryan Garcia, Devin Haney, Regis Progress, you know? So basically, when you add that kind of stipulation on the fight, bro, you're saying two men going to pretty much fight to the sleep. Right, I'm not gonna say to the death because that's kind of crazy, but at least to the sleep, right? Until somebody gets knocked out, until somebody can no longer go um, in the fight, till they can no longer move, right? Or until the referee stops it, right? It's gonna be one of those scenarios where where egos are going to clash, where where styles are going to clash, where it's going to be a scenario where um, they might even have to go to extreme measures. Right? A little extreme. Maybe you might get a quick head, but a quick elbow thrown. Right? Out of nowhere, right? A low blow here. Referee got to say, man, hey, keep keep them up. Keep your, fit, keep your fist up because it's, it's a desperate scenario where one of these two gentlemen will be able to feed their family based upon the next few moves that they can make in their careers. So I'm expecting the outing, especially when you think about Subaru Matias having five no mas fights in a row, I, I'm pretty sure Lamparo is thinking, man, I'm not going to quit in this fight. I, I can't go into this fight and expect myself to be considered as one of the best at 140 by retiring on the stool. He's going to have to knock me out scenario playing now, right? Because that's, that's kind of a it's a flex, bro. Like, I ain't even going to hold y'all, bro. It's a flex. Right? It's a real big flex, and it, it could play with your mental mind leading up into the night, right? Why you think Teofimo Lopez ain't taking Subriel Matias right now? That's a real flex, bro. And I know he's saying that uh, Subriel Matias is one-dimensional, but you still got to pan on the idea that you're not going to walk in this ring and not be punched at all, right? You're going to get hit, right? No matter how you look at it, you're going to get hit. Floyd Mayweather got hit several times, so you know damn well you're going to get hit, right? So saying that to say, when it comes down to it, you got to think about the fact of T.O. Fimo Lopez thinking in so many words, especially when he always saying, I don't know if I can do this. I don't know if I can do that. If he were to fight Super Real Matias and retire on the stool, bro, that's a wrap for his career. All right, that's a wrap for his career. So you got to think about that playing out with the likes of Lam Paro as well, saying in his head, bro, I'm not going to quit. Like, he going to have to knock me out, right? I ain't going to quit. And you got Super Real Matias right now who is at a great spot in his career, well, I'm pretty sure he don't want to move, bro. Like, come on, man. I'm, I'm one fight away from Devin Haney. One fight away from, from Regis Progress. One fight away from Ryan Garcia or anybody else that's top. Teofimo Lopez, right? Because he over at top rank, and they also work with the zone as well. So, he can definitely get the Teofimo Lopez fight. And we're having um, uh, Eddie Hearn in your corner, bro. He can really do those negotiations with Bob Arum. Right, you, you you always can get Bob Arum and Eddie Hearn to work together. You can't get uh, Eddie Hearn to work with the PBC, right? Not with a move like this, you see why, right? With them nabbing Subio Matias, you can kind of understand why the PBC don't really like messing with the zone. 
like that, right? First and foremost, that pay per views are super cheap uh, for the zone. Super cheap pay per views, but I'm talking about dirt cheap. As far as pay per view is concerned, I think they only paying like thirty dollars, right? Thirty quick dollars, thirty five dollars for pay per views, right? This is for pay per view, right? And then not to mention, um, they have some really supreme talent over there that PVC might lose to to a certain degree. I'm not saying that they will lose to. I'm just saying they might lose to. Um, even though it seemed like the Conor Ben and uh, Tank Davis fight may be coming our way. Right, which would be a great move in the right direction for both PBC and the likes of um, Matchroom Boxing. I highly doubt it happened. Right, I, I really highly doubt it happened because of moves like this. Right, moves like this. So it is what it is in the aspect. So that to say, I do uh, predict a knockout in this one, Leon Paro or Silvio Matias. If I had to, right, if I just had to say who I got winning this one, I'm going to say Matias. I'm going to say Matias. I don't know, bro. I'm going to say Matias. Because I, I think Matias has uh, more to gain uh, from winning this particular scenario. And he has more to lose um, if he were to lose this scenario. So I'm, I'm thinking, right, um, he's willing to go out on the shield to uh, maintain his reputation and his status right now. More so than Leon Paro, who technically pulled out of the uh, Pro Grass fight. I don't know what it was for, though. Right, it wasn't for money, was it because he was a little nervous? Was it an injury? Um, to pull out of a fight that you had already agreed to is it, kind of questionable. Um, so I'm going to roll with the guy who I know um, is going to pull up and show out uh, more so than the guy who might say he's going to do it and then pull out at the last hour. So this is the RTH podcast. I'm your host, Nephew, and I'm signing out. Y'all take it easy, at, bruh. Peace. RTH Podcast going live, man, with Brawl Night Champions for members only. Party chat debate for a shot at the Community Board Champion, but remember, it's a fight, so don't get knocked out and lose your place in the ranks. Or if you're just here to be a part of the spectacle, that's cool too. Sign up for the first tier to get front row seats to each event and get exclusive content not seen on YouTube. No my tier, but don't get kicked out. See rule books for more details. Oh yeah, ladies and the legends are included if you want to spectate or go for some gold. Brawl Night Champions, sign up now.